Look at that, hand, hand feeding shark, you guys. How cool is it to hand feed a shark? Pretty wild though, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exact same move like no. we were playing a game of horse. No, that was like silent. <laughs> we're just whipping up a little lobster conch ceviche. We have some conchs from way back when I did the conch hunting mission with Lloyd even. I packed a little bit into the freezer knowing we'd make some ceviche on a fishing trip one day. And I kind of expected it to happen sooner, but I wanted to at least make sure we used it before the end of the, uh, end of the whole trip. So today's a perfect day. The other day we went out with Sean. You guys have probably seen that episode too now. And we did some lobster shading, which was super fun. Packed a little bit of meat away for that also. So had some fresh lobster tail, um, straight meat, and some fresh cock meat in the freezer. And we just whipped it up into a little ceviche. And Rachel's finishing that up for us right now. What are you working on, Rachel? Uh, making some ceviche. Chopping the rest of this onion. Oh. <laughs> if it doesn't go all over the place, actually. <laughs> Stoked on that. It's gonna be a great fresh lunch on the water. Fresh seafood that is essentially raw, even though it's been sear cooked with the acid and the lime juice. And then it gives it a nice, you know, hearty flavor. That's the whole ceviche thing. Fresh lobster conch ceviche really is maybe the best lunch you could eat while out fishing. It's like bomb. We put a little pineapple in, so it's like a bomb pineapple pico de gallo that's just got fresh chunks of protein filled seafood in it. It's, it's pretty next level. You feeling the ceviche, Rachel? I definitely am. You can eat it every day, even not just fishing. <laughs> Well, you guys, we pulled up to Shark and Ray Alley, and it's totally awesome. There's some big nurse sharks and some big stingrays right underneath us. Oh, wow, they're beautiful. Here, guys. Oh, Got it. He, he almost grabbed it. Look at that, hand, hand feeding shark, you guys. How cool is it to hand feed a shark? take the sardine I'm gonna tuck it between my fingers like this so that my fingers aren't sticking out and he can't just grab my fingers 
I'm gonna just snap like that, boom. And then look, I can pet him right on his head. These guys are super friendly. We're gonna go ahead and feed him a couple of more. And then we're gonna jump in the water and we're gonna um, play around with them. Come here, guy. Right here, look at this, watch this. Might be getting lazy. Sometimes they'll get a little bit lazy, and after you've been feeding them for a while, they're like, I'm over just, it. Drop it, just drop it for me. Look at this big black one. How cool is that? There we go. Here's a couple Beautiful. of buddies. Oh. This one right here is a friend. There we go. Yeah, he's Look one. At that. How many places in the world do you get to go out and hand feed sharks? <laughs> Watch this. Oh, oh, he bumped it right off of my hand. The sharks are all totally wild. They're not domesticated at all. But people come here pretty regularly and feed them. Do you want to feed one? Yeah, how do we Here, just hold it like that. Like this? Yep, right like that. And then here, let me get the cam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, that's why I was like, oh, okay, this looks good. <laughs> Pretty wild though, right?
What's up, you guys? It's a super beautiful day out here. We've been having a lot of fun just cruising around. Met up with a couple of friends. Met up with my buddy Brandon, Captain Harry, and Rachel. And uh, we just cruised out to check out the reef, do a little bit of snorkeling. And then we jammed over to the local reef right in front of Keycocker and checked out Shark and Ray Alley. And the sharks and rays over here are just amazing and beautiful. And we got to play with the sharks and the rays for a while. And I had a really good time with that. Um, super cool to see these big, beautiful creatures that have a really bad reputation. People think of uh, stingrays as being a really dangerous creature. And after Steve Irwin's death, they got even a worse rap. Species of stingray that we have here are southern stingrays. And they're really beautiful, docile, soft creatures. I've held them in my hands, even though we didn't pick any up just now. And these are all nurse sharks. We didn't see any reef sharks or black tips in this school at all. And which means all these sharks are also really pretty friendly. And the worst they're gonna do is give you like a little sandpaper uh, bruise, kind of a hickey. They'll give you a mean little hickey with like maybe a little bit of uh, scuffed upness around it if they tried to bite at you. And it was just real fun and beautiful to hang out with these awesome, amazing creatures. I think we're gonna wrap it up and just call it a quick blitz to the reef check out a shark, do a little bit of snorkeling. I wanted to show off some more snorkeling on this trip and uh, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the snorkeling footage and we're gonna get into another adventure. Make sure to hit the little thumbs up like thing. Make sure to hit the little sub thing down there and uh, stay tuned for more fun action from the bite. Eeeew! 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 <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo, woo! Ha <laughs> ha!